What's up guys? So there's a problem going around where videos are not showing up in sub boxes. So if you guys follow the quick steps on the screen, so all you gotta do is when you hit subscribe, there's a little bell right next to it. If you click on the bell and hit send me all notification for this channel, it'll actually make sure that the videos keep showing up in the sub box. LeBron James never left Miami and he decided to stay with the team would they have been able to bounce back and win more championships what's going on guys and welcome back to another video so today we have LeBron James and I am putting him back on the Miami Heat and I didn't want that to be the only move because had he now went to Cleveland I highly highly doubt the Kevin Love trade would have happened so on the Cavaliers I decided to put Andrew Wiggins on the Cavs and keep Kevin Love over here on the oh well where, where, where oh, what am i looking timberwolves my bad I, I was all over the map right there i'm sorry about that so we're doing three simulations here and this is the new starting lineup because i kind of assumed that wade would have been gone i want to see how they do with the current lineup if lebron really is that valuable that they could because this team never contends in this game anymore on these season simulations they absolutely never contend so i want to see if lebron going back if he would have stayed if they would have been able to. Here we go, Dragic, Richardson, LeBron James, Wiley Reed, and then Hassan White. And then you have down here, Chris Bosh. I don't know, is he not hurt? Oh, I gotta throw him in the lineup, my bad. It, I thought he was hurt. I thought he was hurt, I guess. Well, I think he is in real life. Uh, maybe just not in this uh, particular simulation. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna do this, three simulations. If you guys comment down below right now, out of three, how many will they win? I'm gonna make the prediction, one. I'm making a prediction one. Comment down below what you guys think. And then on the way up, hit the like button. That would be awesome. Let's try and get this video to 1,000 likes. And I'll see you guys in the playoffs. Okay, so at the end of the first season, I'm sure you guys are getting used to the Russell Westbrook wins MVP. Brandon Knight, D'Angelo Russell, Terry Scott of the Portland Trailblazers wins the coach of the year. That, that's pretty unique. That doesn't happen all the time. LeBron James goes back to his normal self, decides, I'm just going to go and win the MVP with the Heat. Or oh, not MVP. Oh my gosh. All NBA first team. I don't know if I've ever done a sim where he wasn't all NBA first team. I'm pretty sure he's been every single time. Lillard, second team, third team. Where are the Heat? Where are we? We are first. We are ranked first in the... So this is interesting to me. Because everybody says, LeBron, who's the most valuable? Maybe I, when I did this with Curry, I took away Curry from the Golden State Warriors. They were still pretty good. I don't feel like it's the same. I feel like if you take LeBron from the Cavs, they are not the same on this game or in real life. Trailblazers have the best record. Kind of unique that that just went out and happened. Very, very surprising. I don't know why. It's kind of out of the blue that the Trailblazers are the best team. Uh, right there. Let's go look at the st statistics for the league. He must have had to score a lot of points to carry this team. Okay, 22.7, 10.6 rebounds, and 8.2 assists. The player stats, Hassan Whiteside had a good year. Dragic, Bosch was all right. Not amazing. Bosch definitely wasn't as good as he used to be. I remember when he played with the Raptors. Oh my gosh. I loved Chris Bosch. Chris Bosch was like the guy. He was our first star that didn't leave, and but he ended up Say what? Really? I I guess so. Okay. Well, we lost in the first round to the Hornets. That just happened.
Okay, so season two, no surprise, Westbrook Simmons. I'm sick of looking at these. The game needs to switch things up, though. They always have the same guys win these every single time. Like, there's no way. If you sim, I'd have probably 50 of these. It's always these two, pretty much. Pretty much every single time, it's Westbrook and Simmons. Like, Simmons is hurt. They need to predict maybe someone else can get Rookie of the Year. I don't know. Maybe that's crazy of me to say, okay, Giannis wins first team all in. That's good. Good for Antetokounmpo. You don't see that very often in these simulations. Damian Lillard. Where are we going in? We're going in ninth. We didn't make the playoffs. Oh my gosh, we didn't make the playoffs. This is going to be so anticlimactic. I didn't even realize what happened this year. Who just stopped playing? Like, what player on our team decided to not show up so we don't even make the playoffs? LeBron, I guess, didn't have a great year. He wasn't terrible. Like, he wasn't awful. You got LeBron, Hassan Whiteside. It's just crazy. How did they not make the playoffs, man? I thought every LeBron team made the playoffs. That's what everyone says. LeBron made every team amazing. Well, apparently you couldn't make the Heat's... Heat's good? I don't know where I was going with that. I'm sorry. Golden State wins the championship. I, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I was trying to say apparently he couldn't make the Heat good. And then I said Heat. And then I, was, I stopped. And I was like, that's really, really embarrassing. I was just trying to process how embarrassing what had just happened. It's time to go into the third simulation. I, we need to win. Because my prediction was one. Okay, so season three, guys, we get something different. James Harden wins MVP, Simmons, Brandon Knight, LeBron, Mike D'Antoni wins the coach of the year. It's going to be interesting. The Houston Rockets had a good year. We had a much better season, though. That middle season, I had a feeling that wasn't, like, actually characteristic of how it would go. It didn't feel very good to me at all. So we are second quickly, quickly, but surely. Let's go look at the stats. LeBron scored 27 white side. And the funny thing is, for this third simulation... I was just like, you know what, Bosch, you're not playing. And they did a lot better. I told Bosch, I said, Bosch, you, you've done great things, but you just got to sit down. And apparently, that made things a lot better. Let's look at the standings, power rankings. We are sixth. So our chances of winning aren't amazing, but they're not terrible. It, there's definitely, it's like that movie with Dumb and Dumber. So you're saying there's a chance. There is definitely a chance we can pull this off. Whew, we got to beat the Knicks first. Sim Curry around, we better beat the Knicks, come on. Yes, everyone everyone can beat the Knicks. Okay, now the Raptors, my favorite team. I'm Canadian, oh my gosh, 1-1. One, one. This, The anticipation is killing me for you Heat fans. Remember last year when, uh, when the Raptors beat you guys? <sighs> Zero. The answer to the question I asked at the beginning of the video, would, would they win a championship if LeBron went back? How many would they win? The answer is zero. And of course the Raptors knocked them out. The Raptors are going to be knocking everybody out this year. That's a bias. I'm sorry. I don't know if they will. I'm just a big fan. I got to say some sassy Raptors coming. Let's sim the playoffs. Probably going to be... Oh, the Toronto Raptors. Let's go. Good for you, Toronto. I love no one in the States gives Toronto any credit. They're a pretty good team. Honestly, they are fun to watch. But thank you guys all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to drop a like down below. And I'll see all you guys next time.